Kansas goes down. Arkansas, the must bus, the shirt was off, and the Razorbacks got a huge win, knocking off the defending national champions. Jeff Goodman, how did this happen? Well, it starts with the fact that uh, Bill Self wasn't on the other sideline. And, and no disrespect to Norm Roberts, who I love and is a good coach, Bill Self is a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, so I think, you know, that's part of it. Dewan Harris wasn't himself. He got hurt, and he was basically a decoy, you know, for the second half. He wasn't handling the ball. They, they had to really put Kevin McCullough at the point uh, most of the game. So, I, listen, give Arkansas credit. They, they got Kansas at the right time here. Uh, but ultimately, listen, Kansas also got a tough draw here, right? They probably should have been the number two overall seed in the Midwest where Houston was, at least playing Auburn. Yes, in Birmingham, but Auburn is not Arkansas. We, we can all agree on that. Arkansas, much higher ceiling. Uh, Devo Davis was fantastic tonight. He fouled out at the end of the game, and they found a way to win with Ricky Council. And uh, give him us credit, man. You know, this is uh, potentially – he's one win away from three straight Elite Eights. But, again, no Bill Self. Uh, Wani Harris hurt. It, it was kind of the perfect storm for Arkansas here. Laval, what would you see? Yeah, it was impressive. You know, just uh, the second half of that game, I mean, Devontae Davis just took – over uh he was unreal <laughs> you know 21 in the second half and when they have ricky council and they have nick smith and you know they have all the options like he 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 turned into uh the guy so i i thought you know jordan walsh it, it was norm was tremendous I, I thought norm was great jeff like yeah. you know late in that game he went to jalen wilson out of the timeout um, he went to he ISO, put KJ Adams in the middle of the court and used his speed and the undersized became the advantage. Like I thought yeah, that he was, didn't have Wani, right? Like he didn't yeah. have his point guard. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought Norm just made great calls and put guys in position. I thought he attacked the matchups well. I thought he attacked the foul line because uh, they had some guys in foul trouble. I thought he did a good job. I, I thought the 10 second call was huge. The yeah, backcourt so violation, because because I was wondering in my mind what's norm going to call here because it was you know it was time to, to to run something you know to try to go somewhere intentionally and and next thing you know it's a turnover um and, and so you know i thought must the other thing just from a coaching standpoint the decision to to, to sit nick smith in the second half by must i thought that that takes some courage just you know you got a really good player but their rhythm they had a rhythm before nick smith returned Obviously, he's trying to integrate him into the lineup, and he's been spotty. Uh, we, we know he's a talented player, but it was just we're better without you. And 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 a lot of coaches wouldn't make that call, um, you know. So I thought that was a a big decision, which allowed Devontae Davis to do what he did. Um, so it was a, it was a good game. And then Jordan Walsh made just winning plays. I thought defensively. He had some really good uh, defensive, you know, possessions against Jalen Wilson. Uh, for a young player. And then the free throw, you know, when they tied the game, the free throw tip back to council. Like he, he made one, he missed the second shot. Today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play college basketball pick'em, where you can get a little extra sweat during March Madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games. In pick'em, all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on underdogs' projected totals, whether that's points, rebounds, whatever. For example, if you're like me and you think Zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament, pick higher on his points projection, add up to four more picks, and if you hit them all, you can win 20 times your money on a single game. Underdog's slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like Jeff Goodman have even figured it out. So go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code Field F I E L D and Underdog will match your deposit up to a hundred bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, UnderdogFantasy.com promo code Field. You miss a free throw blockout, and this is when coaches lose their minds. Like free throw blockouts, you like lose it, like you go crazy. But it was a great play by Jordan Walsh to tap the ball. Ricky Council gets it, makes the next two. Game over. Um, I did think size eventually caught up with Kansas. 
right? The 15 offensive rebounds, the 15 second chance points, the big put back uh, by who was it? Johnson, Kamani Johnson, you know, to go up to, I just, I thought the lack of size caught him uh, eventually. Yeah. It didn't really come back to bite that much mid season. Like I was uh, before the season started, I'm like, there's no way this team can be the same caliber. It was last year without a center. Like that's just not what a Bill Self team has ever I, looked like. I had like. Arkansas winning that, by the way, my bracket. Did you? Like, Did you? Yeah, from the nice jump. I, I just They're thought, dangerous. yeah, I thought they had enough, and I thought I didn't know what Dewan Harris might do, and obviously he got injured. That affected the game. I, I think that was the key to the game. I think if you had a healthy Dewan Harris in that game, Kansas wins, and he was a shell of himself. I mean, he couldn't move out there, yeah. uh, couldn't initiate offense, couldn't create for others. He made one three. But other than that, he was a non-factor, and he was just standing out there, really. Um, so I, I thought that was the biggest difference. Uh, but again, listen, give Arkansas credit because this has been a crazy year for my – I mean, think about it. They're under 500 in, in SEC play this year. Yeah. Under 500, they come in, and that's why these 8-9 games, they're, they're, they're dangerous teams as – Dike Whatever Alcimo you did the regular says, season doesn't matter. Just go see Fairly Dickinson. <laughs> yeah, that, that too. <laughs> just get that in. Too. Just get in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But those eight nines are always the high major teams that generally, right, like underachieve uh, during the season. Generally, that's what they are. And Arkansas didn't really underachieve. They just didn't have their team. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, Jeff. Uh, where would you put Muss quickly, Jeff? Where would you put Muss – nationally as far as prestigious coaches go obviously he's had a bunch of sweet 16 runs in a row like people are kind of just looking at this like this is what must does at this point is that fair to say well he, here's the thing and i think val can weigh in on this with Muss is because he was in the nba he was kind of used to new teams right new guys new teams every year you know free agency drafts whatever and then he was like you know all over the place. It was like overseas. So he's been used to this. And then he goes to Nevada and hits the portal hard. So this year, when he flipped basically the entire roster at Arkansas, like there aren't many guys that can handle that. And I think like Muss was one of them that not only can handle it, but almost thrives on it. But it just, it took him time again. It took him time. Yeah. yeah. I think that's been his formula since he got back into college at Nevada. It was just, you know, he got transfers, you know, guys that the, uh, the twins that came from North Carolina State and, you know, guys like that that just and he's again, you know, having the NBA experience, you know, the way it is now, um, the quick turn and putting a new roster together. If you got six, seven, eight new guys, you know, he, he had a, a formula for that and he's accustomed to it. So it's it's worked for him. Yeah, I've been a, a loud must skeptic through the years. I don't know what it is, if it's just the shirt off. The, the stickiness to him. I've always just been like, yeah, is he more gimmick than he is coach? Not anymore. Not after this result tonight. And uh, he's, he's getting talent. Like, right. let's yeah. not, like, here's, let's not mistake this. Like, hey, Rodney Terry can, like, there's talented dudes at Texas. Yeah. Like, yeah. Norm, Roser, Norm Roberts, Bill Sells a good coach, but like, Norm Roberts can coach that team too. <laughs> like, they're talented. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> so much does, he's got talented. I mean, he, he hadn't lacked for talent since he's got back in it.